Florida Tax Watch has released its list of the so-called tax turkeys that made it through the state legislature this year. Turkeys aren't necessarily bad projects or bad investments. They just don't follow the rules sometimes. Out of the 166 turkeys Tax Watch identified this year, more than a dozen will benefit the panhandle. As soon as Florida's lawmakers pass the state budget, <laughs> Florida Tax Watch goes to work, identifying what are considered to be tax turkeys. What they are are appropriations that end up in the final state budget that didn't get the deliberation and the review that they, they should. Thursday, Tax Watch released its list of the 2022 tax turkeys. Tax Watch singled out 166 appropriations based solely on how they got into the budget, not on the merits of the projects. We're not saying that any of these projects that are on our list are necessarily uh, a waste of money or bad projects, but the point is if they don't follow the normal budgeting process, you don't know that for sure. 14 turkeys live here on the Panhandle. They include $10 million for a wastewater treatment facility at Tyndall Air Force Base, $1.6 million for a wastewater treatment plant expansion in Lynn Haven, $3 million for a septic to sewer conversion program in Laguna Beach, and $5 million for the Regional Parks Project in Panama City. Tax Watch officials say Governor DeSantis has used his veto pen each year. He usually scratches off one-third of the projects out of the annual budget, but it is an election year year and budget vetoes are rare during election years. We'll know one way or the other soon enough. Governor DeSantis must sign the budget before the beginning of the fiscal year, which is July the 1st. For the full list of budget turkeys and the rest of the local projects, you can go to our website, mypanhandle.com. A payroll mistake is causing major problems for some Alabama schools.